So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, coming into mountain pose for our warm up. So sitting bones toward the floor, shoulders back and down, arms relaxed and crown up to the ceiling. So think about those bottom ribs coming toward your spine and up to activate the core. Don't restrict the abdominals. You want the diaphragm to drop, the lungs to be able to fully expand, and then sink back in as you so just get your focus inward, noticing how your body is responding during, during the movement. And then arms out at shoulder level, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little back to keep the chest open. Inhale, arms to the front, shoulders still down. And then hands behind you, just clasping your fingers together. Push them toward the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back, nice upper body back bend. Pivot at your hips, exhale over. So just deepen into your forward bend as far as you want to go and relax. You can bend your knees if you want or straighten them and stretch the back of your legs. And then tip chin in, work your way up and lift your heart. Stretch into the back bend. Keep breathing. <coughs> Sorry. And then inhale, upright, and release. Feel your spine getting a little more stimulated. <coughs> Sorry, got it. Have it. A little tea for my throat. And we'll do our warm up once more. So inhaling. Out to the sides. Exhale, hands to your chest. Stretch to the front. Exhale, and clasp the opposite way, other finger outside. And as you lift your head, stretch through the whole spine. Pivot as you exhale, and relax. And again, just deepen as far into the forward bend as you want. Relax. And then knees bent, chin in again, wind your way up, just letting the bones move into place into the back bend. Stretch back through the top of your head. And again, inhale up and release. <coughs> oh, sorry. And I was catching in my throat, but it's very annoying. And then we'll do our side stretch. So remember, keep your body facing the front for this one. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Bring the hands past and turn them around to clasp. Bring your arms back near your ears. Pull your shoulders and sitting bones down. And then reach your head way high. Lean over to the side without twisting so those ribs get a good stretch. And then push the foot you're leaning away from a little bit more down to the floor and out through your fingertips so that that whole side gets a nice long stretch. And then again, inhale coming up, switch the other hand around in front and pull your arms again around your ears. Spread your toes, stretch your body, and lean to the other side without leaning forward. And again, deepen with that foot down, out through the top of your body. Feel the ribs, get them nice and stretched open. And then inhale back to the top. Exhale into mountain. Feel the ribs, the sides, all that nice stretch through the movements. And then we're going to base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch open for our twist. So arms out, palms up, arms over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows and then again, pull your arms near your ears. Sink into the feet evenly, stretch your spine apart and twist as you exhale. Take another breath in 
And as you exhale, come on over in a twist into that forward fold. So only as deep as you want to go. Take a breath, just relax. And then slowly stay in your twist as you work your way up. Lift your heart, look overhead, pull your elbows back, shoulders down, and upper body backward. Always gentle on your way back. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch arms, and again bring your body to ears. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, breathe in, and exhale for the forward twist. One more lengthen. And then as you exhale, so just deepen into your twist forward bend on this side. See if your weight is still even on both feet. And relax. And then inhaling, work your way back up. Lift your heart again and pull your elbows back. You look overhead. Upper body back bend, gentle on the lower. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Your arms straight up. Let's turn the palms out and down to shoulder level. Pivot forward, chest and chin lead, and then tuck your chin back a little bit so the neck stretches. Get as parallel to the floor as you can get. Stretch everything out and then drop into leg go. Just take a moment there, hanging. Hey. Pull in a little deeper if you want with your hands behind your legs. Get that back a good stretch. And then arms back to the front. And just wind up one more time. And return. Shoulders down. Spine straight. Give it to you. Bring your hands together. You look at them. Inhale them over. Head and keep looking at your thumbs. Bring your thumbs further back and lift your heart if you like the back bend. And then exhale. Keep the thumbs in your gaze as you bring them to your heart. And then pivot over and just drop again to rag down. We're coming all the way to the floor into our transition child's pose. Hips to your heels and forehead forward. So just take a moment there, relaxing. Get that nice stretch along your back. And then bring your hands in front, right in front of your shoulders, and pivot up. Knees separated, hip width apart, toes straight back. Your elbows and shoulders lined up for table position. So remember, fingers spread, come up on your fingertips, press the knuckles down, the base of the fingers, the palms, everything really getting a good connection through your hands. Your support. Circle your wrists anytime you need to before you put them back down to get that circulation going again. And keep your elbows straight, kind of the bends toward the outside. And lift your ribs, get that back supported, chest a little bit toward your thumbs so that you're not punching up in your shoulders. So nice straight back position as we start our cat sequence. So we're going to just drop the belly toward the floor, lift the hips, we'll look forward, crown toward the ceiling, bring your chest forward as well. So sinking into the back bend, go as deep into that back bend as you want. And then sitting bones tuck down and forward, and the whole spine follows into the forward bend. Tuck your chin in, top of the head down toward the floor. Press evenly into your knees and your hands. And then inhale, back to neutral, flat bend. So take a moment, feel your spine. Notice the circulation all along it. And we're going to move that circulation around a little bit. So pick a point between your shoulder blades and neck and pull that point down toward the floor, and then lift your hips, sitting bones up, and look forward. So upper body back bend a little bit more this time, so that shoulder blade, upper neck area gets a little bit more into the back bend. And then with that same upper body point, press it toward the ceiling, tuck your sitting bones down and under, chin in toward your chest, 
top of the head toward the floor. So upper body coming into the forward bend. And then again, inhale, back to your flat back neutral position. So take a moment there, just feel the spine, a little more circulation probably in that upper back. So we're gonna move it to the lower back. So someplace between your waist and hips, bring that point to focus and pull it down toward the floor. Again, the sitting bones go up, chest forward, crown to the ceiling, and that lower back really drops into the back. And then keep that same lower back in focus and push it up into the forward bend, sitting bones down, top of the head down, chin. So really lift through that lower back, coming into that arch. And then again, inhale back to your neutral table position. Feel a little bit more circulation this time, probably in that lower back hip area. Just notice. And then solar plexus, the middle of your torso. So between your ribs, below your sternum, above your navel, that midpoint of that fleshy heart, pull that down toward the floor. And again, a nice back bend with the hips lifting, sitting bones up, face forward, crown to the ceiling, shoulder blades towards your waist. Just sink that solar plexus way down to the and then focus on the solar plexus as you lift it, tucking the sitting bones down, top of the head down. Really arch up through that middle of your back. And into solar plexus, lift. And then again, inhale back to neutral and right back table position. Sink back on your hips, hips to heels. Let your elbows drop and just circle those wrists for a little bit of relief from that area. And then palms back down and pivot back up into table. So we'll do the side stretch next. So go ahead and look over one shoulder, keeping your back nice and straight as you look back toward your foot. Feel the hip and shoulder come a little closer on the side you're turning toward and feel the ribs on that opposite side stretch apart. And then come back to the center and stretch long. Keep the back straight and turn and look the other direction. So again, ribs separate on the side you're turning away from. On the other side, the hip and shoulder come a little closer. And then back to the center. Just feel the sides of your body a little bit more activated. And we're going to keep the spine long and straight and walk the hands back toward your foot on one side. And this time, really feel that hip and shoulder coming closer and the opposite side stretching even more. Take a breath, just maximize. And then walk your hands back to the center and into table position. Straighten everything out wherever you need to. Lengthen your spine and exhale, walking the hands the opposite direction. Again, bring that hip and shoulder close that you're moving toward. And feel the other side getting a really good stretch, keeping that spine as straight as you can. And again, maximize. And then when you're ready, walk the hands back into table. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. And we'll do a little mini twist. So bring your elbow where your shoulder was, sliding that right hand forward. And then take your right shoulder forward toward your hand, keeping those hips as far back as you can so you get a good stretch through your spine. And then turn your face, your whole body, and look toward your opposite shoulder or further up toward the ceiling. So the hips ribs, shoulder, everything turns along with your head as you look up. Take a breath, stretch your spine, and then exhaling, turn looking back toward the floor, and slide your hand back under your shoulder. So you're back in table position. Feel a little more circulation through that spine. And of course, we'll balance the body, twist the other way. Slide the opposite hand forward, elbow down, right under your shoulder. 
And then the shoulder pushes forward, lengthening your spine, getting ready to twist. Take a breath, and as you exhale, rotate your whole body. So your side kind of moves, looking toward the side. The front looks kind of toward the side as your side goes towards the ceiling, coming into your twist. So you're looking toward the opposite shoulder or up toward the ceiling. So maximize as much as your body likes as you twist that direction. And then again, we're rotating your whole body down, looking at the floor, pulling your hands back into table. Sink your hips back, slide your hands forward, forehead down, relax and move those wrists around. Plant your hands, and again, pivoting up, coming into table position, we'll do a little balance. The knees are under the hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders are lined up. Get a good connection to the floor, and then right foot back, and legs straight, lifting that foot up to hip level behind you, stretch the toes out. And then opposite hand, so left hand forward if you've got the right Stretch, lengthening through the whole body. And then bringing your hands back down under your shoulder, knee back to the floor, back in the table position. Just feel your body. And we'll do the same balance the other way. So foot out, left foot out, hip level. Stretch it out, knees straight. The knee is down toward the floor, so are both hips. And then right arm forward, right along your ear. Stretch and lengthen, getting that core support, keeping that lower back support. And then hand back to the floor, knee back under your hip. And again, just take a moment there. Feel how your body is working today. Then we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to bring the right foot back up to hip level, and again, stretch out. Make sure both hips are facing toward the floor evenly. And then we're gonna bend the elbows and bring the chin and elbows down toward the floor as that leg lifts. So let the leg go as high as it wants, keeping everything as straight as you can, coming into that pivot, bowing tighter. And then pressing into your hands, and back up, bringing the foot back to hip level, and then bring the knee back down to the floor. So feel your body a little bit more stimulated, maybe through those arms. And we'll do the same thing with the opposite foot. So bring the left foot out and up to hip level. Get everything straight and even. And then again, chin coming down, elbows coming down, Leg lifting, keeping everything as straight as you can, bowing your tiger. Stretch out through the toes, out through the head, and then pressing into your hands, coming back up into that flat position, and knee back to the floor, into table. Take a moment, feel all that stimulation, and then again, sink back and release those wrists. And come all the way into child's pose. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale in tension. Get arms out in front one more time and back up in the table position. So just take a moment there, feeling your body. We'll do a little hip work this time. So again, those ribs are up, supporting your back, chest toward the thumbs, getting everything straight and supported. And we're bringing the left, the right leg out and up to hip level, stretch out. Keep the knee down toward the floor and roll that hip a little bit in so that knee stays down toward the floor as you bend your knee and bring the foot up toward the seat. Just lengthen. Chest forward, looking forward, raise that foot up a little bit more, a little extra back bend. And then looking toward the floor, knee back to hip level, straighten the leg, and bring that knee back down to the floor. 
And we'll do the right side. So again, ribs up, spine straight. Bring the voices. left foot up at hip level. Roll that hip slightly in so the knee stays toward the floor. Bend the foot, bend the knee with the foot up toward the ceiling, flex the foot to you. And again, looking forward, lifting the top of your head, lifting the foot a little bit more. Come on into the back bend as much as you like. And then looking back down, knee back to hip level, straighten the leg and bring the knee back to the floor. And again, as you get back into table position, just take a moment, feel your spine. I'm going to maximize that just a little bit more. So right foot back and we'll lift it to hip level, knee toward the floor. And again, bending the knee, foot up toward the ceiling, flex the foot. This time bring the left arm out, turn the palm toward the ceiling, right along your ear. And then lifting the foot and the hand again, a little bit more back. Keep both hip bones facing the floor, both shoulders facing evenly. And then straightening things out, palm toward the floor, bring the hand down and the knee back to the floor. Take a moment, circle that other wrist if you need to, and we'll do the opposite side one more time. So left leg out, hip level, stretch it out, roll the left thigh in, so the knee stays down as you bend the knee and bring that foot straight up. Right arm forward, turn the palm up and lift the foot and the hand into the back bend. Again, keep your shoulders and hips even toward the floor. And then straightening things out, turn the hand back toward the floor, bring it to the mat and the knee down as well. And this time, Child's pose, hips back, shoulders relaxed, circle the wrists, bring the hands near your feet, let those shoulders relax down. Take a few breaths, just here. And again, the hands come out to the front and we pivot up into table position so we can do a twist before our relaxation. So again, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, knees and hips lined up, spine supported with that rib area up towards your low back. Just coming in, stretch through your spine. You want to remember those bones stretching apart for the twist. And we'll take the left hand, palm up, and slide it through. Bring your head and shoulder all the way to the floor. If that doesn't work, get a pillow or something under your head so you have support and you don't overwork your neck. And then you can stay here. Perfectly good twist, level one. Level one and a half, bring that elbow on that hand in front of you up toward the ceiling. That will give you a little bit more upper body into your twist. If you like the low back twist, you can take your right foot near your left hand and press the heel of your hand or heel of your of the leg, getting a little bit more work through that lower back. So your shoulder and your head are supporting you, not your neck, and your knee is also supporting you. Stay there, or don't put that foot out. You don't have to have it out if you don't want to. If you like that and you want a little bit more, bring your right arm straight up toward the ceiling, right above your shoulder. Turn your head and look up at it so you <clears throat> Rolling onto the back of your head and then lower the back of your hand behind you toward the floor, coming deeper into the chest. So your chin a little bit into your chest, rolling onto the back of your head, not your neck, and deepening that twist. So only as much as your body likes. The knee doesn't, or the leg doesn't have to be out, the arm doesn't have to be out. That first version is a perfectly good twist. If you did bring your hand up, bring it back down. If you took your leg out, bring it back in. Press into that right hand and unthread your knee. So again, coming into table position, just feel the spine getting more stimulated by that twist energy. 
And of course, we go the other direction. I'm just turning around so you can see what I'm doing. So once more, knees under the hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Back nice and straight, stretch it open, sitting bones and crown reaching away. And then right hand, palm up, sliding through, head and shoulder down, all the way to the feet. So again, bring that elbow further up if that's the level you want to be at. Or if you'd like the low back part, bring the foot near your hand. So it's like left hand, right hand, left foot. Press the heel away, get that back nice and open through that lower back. Stay there, head and shoulder on the floor, supporting you along with the knee, a little bit with those toes. And then, if you like, left arm right above you to the ceiling, look up at it. Keep looking as you roll onto the back of your head, not your neck, lower your neck, left hand toward the floor. So keep that hand right at shoulder level, not way up by your head, not way down toward your feet, but straight back. Just opening a little bit more across that heart. So again, maximize your twist only as much as you really want to. Take a breath. Just relax. And then if you took your hand up, bring it back down. If you took the leg out, bring it back in. And again, pressing into that left hand this time, front thread into table position. Stretch back, hips to your heels, hands forward, forehead to the floor, and relax. You can bring your hands back next to your feet into child's pose. You can stay there for the relaxation, or you can sit up, bring your legs out in front, and use your core for support as you roll all the way into corpse position. So just coming all the way down to the floor, Hands, palms up, wherever you are. Just relax your body into that relaxation posture. So take a few moments to breathe. Exhaling tension. Just letting your body relax down into that surface beneath you. And whether you're in child's pose or corpse position, just let the earth support you completely, relaxing your body totally. Deep breaths in, exhale, tension. And let your whole body relax. So lots of spine work today. Just let your whole spine release any tension. Belly moving as you breathe. Just let your torso expand with the breath as well. And as you exhale, just sink deeper into that surface beneath you. And let Mother Earth support you. As always. As your body relaxes, just let awareness of your body release from your attention. And as that happens, notice that other thoughts do come to your mind. Remember, it's always the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. And it's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath, floating away, unnoticed. Let the thoughts flow in and out without attention. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift without any need to think about the contents. Thoughts flowing in and flowing out as easily as your breath, flowing in and flowing out. And just allowing your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Just let your attention deepen into that deep of peace within. Focus only on the peace, letting the peace fill your mind, fill your body. And just take a few moments now to be at peace.
first. If you'd like to keep relaxing even longer, feel free to stay relaxing as long as feels right for you. It's time to return to the moment and prepare for the rest of your day. Just maybe begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you become ready to do so, just begin moving your body gently, allowing yourself to get a good stretch as you breathe more freely. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, drawing your heels up towards your hips, and your knees up towards your feet. Wrap your arms around, whatever feels right for you today. Give yourself a good appreciative yoga hug. Letting your body know you appreciate its work in yoga today and every day. And then bringing your feet to the floor and roll over to the side and get ready for whatever is ahead for you the rest of the day. Thanks for joining me.